Hello, my fellow massage therapists. Isabel Spradlin here of yourmassagepractice.com. And I'm supposed to be on a plane right now. <laughs> so there's a freak snowstorm here in Portland and it's really deep and the flights just keep getting canceled. And so now I'm left with all of this time on my hands that I did not expect to have. And it really brings up a good thing to think about when you're running a business, which is what do you do with unexpected time on your hands? And let's just acknowledge that oftentimes we don't even know what to do with the totally expected time that we have on our hands. One of the questions that I get most often is what do I do with the time that I'm not with clients? This is a really important question because how you use your downtime can change drastically how easy it is to run your business, how good you feel about your business. And so I want to just bring up a couple of what I think are the most important parts about how you use your time uh, when you're not with clients, whether that time is expectedly sort of empty time or if it's unexpected time like what I have today. So generally speaking, if you have time on your hands, and you're not quite sure what to do with it, almost always this means you have not thought enough about your business. It seems like running a business should always be about doing stuff. And there is a lot that has to be done in order to run a business successfully. However, thinking about your business, thinking about where you are in terms of meeting any goals that you've set for yourself, thinking about how you feel in your business, thinking about all of the different aspects and what it means to be a business owner or what kind of business you want to be running. So often these get um, either cut short or put on a loop in our minds. So too often, because we think we should be doing stuff all the time, we don't take enough time to sit down, let ourselves really settle in, take some deep breaths, and then think about what we really want to be doing in our practice. That can pay dividends going forward because if you give yourself that space, that time to really deeply consider what you wanna be doing in your practice, that will help you get done any scary stuff that you have to do, any stuff that's outside of your comfort zone, it really gives you a head start when you've done that thinking and considering and deep feeling process. The other thing is that, that I wanna bring up is that sometimes we've done a lot of thinking or we find ourselves thinking about our business all the time, but it's not getting us anywhere. It's that thinking isn't helping us get anything done. It's not making taking action any easier. We still are feeling stuck. And oftentimes that's because our thinking is on a loop. So I want you to really take some time, some thinking time, some considering time to try to figure out what's going on in your thoughts and which of those thoughts are on a loop that are keeping you stuck because if you're feeling stuck, there's a reason for that and it has nothing to do with you being lazy or dumb or um, just not cut out for this. None of that is the reason that you're stuck. The reason that you're stuck is because there's something that either doesn't make sense to you or like I'm talking about, you're on a loop with your thinking. So your thinking may be something like, I know I need to grow my practice, I know I need to reach out to other practitioners, but I'm so afraid that they're gonna think um, that I'm not good at what I'm doing or I'm gonna stick my foot in my mouth and say something totally stupid and then I'll have ruined my reputation. Or I'm so worried that people are gonna think that I'm a money grubber and all I want is for them to send me their clients um, and without you know, really acknowledging what's going on um, in their business and stuff like that. So there's all of these thought loops that stop us from getting done what needs to be done. And those thought loops just make us feel like crap. So you wanna figure out how to interrupt those. And when you have time on your hands, unexpectedly like I've got right now, or maybe expectedly, you know you have three clients today and then after that you have a chunk of time when you don't need to be doing anything, take that time to really dig into this stuff. Like I said, it really pays dividends to know what your thought loops are so that you can get out of them, so that you can 
um, start thinking something more like, I know that I need to bring more clients into my practice. I know that doing the best way to do that is to make connections with other therapists who are like me, who think like me, who treat their clients well, who provide high quality service. And I am going to find a way to represent myself that no matter what I say, accidentally or on purpose, I am just gonna own it and say, yeah, that's me. Maybe I made a mistake at one point saying one thing and it's unlikely that that will even happen, quite honestly. But if you do, just saying, yeah, that's part of being human. That's part of being a business owner and I'm gonna keep moving forward. I'm not gonna let that get me stuck. And most importantly, I'm not gonna let that get me stuck before it actually happens. Because who knows, maybe you'll never say anything dumb to another practitioner <laughs> and there isn't really anything dumb that you could say anyway. So um, this is a great way, I think, or a couple of good things to think about when you have time on your hands. If you're struggling with time management, often what I, everything I just talked about is sort of at the root of that. And I hope this helps you in moving forward and really taking the time to deeply consider, take those deep breaths, really think about those thought patterns, those thought loops. And if you're not in any particular thought loops, just really taking time to consider what are my next steps? What's going to take me one step closer? And then what can I do in the next five minutes in order to start making that happen? These can be very, very tiny steps that doesn't need to be everything all at once. So one thing at a time, and this is a great, great way to use any time that you have on your hands. All right, I'll see you next time.